When you are looking for an ideal family car out of the common brands that are well established in Kenya, you may probably consider having uh, this amazing minivan from Mazda that we have right here today. This car has been in production since 2001 in Japan. Though it enjoys some modest success in the Kenyan market, it has uh, perennially remained to be below the predominant Toyota Wish, which is more successful in the Kenyan market. In today's episode of the Car Diary, we are going to take an up-close review of the Mazda Primacy. So let's get uh, started with the car of the day. I'll be your host, Alfonso Albaquerque, the car conversation professor himself. Now, the worthy competitors of the Mazda Primacy currently in the Kenyan market include uh, the likes of uh, the Nissan La Festa, the Toyota Wish, and the Subaru Exiga. Now, when we did the review of the Nissan La Festa, we mentioned something that uh, the La Festa uh, resembles the Mazda Primacy. If you take a look at them uh, with the side profile, if you forget about the emblem of uh, the company, mounted on the front profile and on the rear profile then you may fail to distinguish between nissan la festa and the mazda primacy so with that said guys let's roll we start with the anterior profile of uh, the mazda primacy and you take a look at the headlights you will notice that you have uh, full headlights that are xenon and that is uh, really good to have them. Now, the Mazda emblem is also uh, seated here very boldly. And uh, you'll be able to note that the car approaching you is from the Mazda company. If uh, you take a look at this car from very far, the anterior profile resembles that of a Mazda Demio. Now, if you look at it from afar, you may think it's a Mazda Demio when it's actually not. The grille here is also done very nicely in some black color. And uh, this is the basic grade of uh, the Mazda Primacy. That is why you don't have fog lights on it, but you have these provisions and uh, you can install the aftermarket fog lights if you wish to uh, do so. Now let's take a look at what powers this Mazda Primacy under the hood. Now the Mazda Primacy is offered in two engine options. Number one, we have uh, the MZR 2.0 DISI, and that is what is configured in what we have here, and it's a 2-liter. Then we also have a 2-liter Sky Active G engine, and uh, the one we have here comes with a dual overhead camshaft. Now, this one is linked to a choice of three transmission. You can get a 6-speed Sky Active drive transmission, uh, uh, an automatic transmission, that is. You can also get um, a 5-speed ECAT transmission, that stands for Active-Matic Transmission. And then uh, for the two-wheel drive models, you can get a 4-speed electric-controlled AT steel Active-Matic Transmission. Adiapot Kosawa? All right. Now, the Mazda Primacy comes in uh, three trim levels. The first trim level is called the Mazda Primacy CS, not for cabinet secretaries. Now, the, 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 the other trim level is called the Mazda Primacy C. We have the Mazda Primacy S. We have also the Mazda Primacy C Sky Active, the Mazda Primacy S Sky Active, and uh, all these ones have uh, uh, a valvematic technology, and uh, that is why fuel economy in this Mazda Primacy is uh, very functional and pocket 
friendly. Now let's head to the side profile and see what we have there as well. Now, the side profile of a Mazda Primacy is nothing different than that of a Nissan La Festa. But uh, the only difference that you are going to notice in the new model of the Mazda Primacy is that they have uh, done an additional of these three highly defined character lines that runs from the front fender blister all the way to the upper tail light element and that boosts the aesthetic value of the side profile. You also have the winkers mounted on the front fender, same with uh, the Nissan La Festa and uh, you will not find them on the winkers when they are mounted on the front fender. Let's talk about uh, the ground clearance. Uh, the ground clearance of Mazda Primacy is about 5.8 inches, which is below what is recommended for the Kenyan standards. It uh, sits on a unibody configuration uh, with 17 inch alloy wheels. And that is also something to reckon with. Uh, you can imagine if this car was supposed to come with steel rims and uh, how with the beautiful side profile in the, in the Aribu, the aesthetic valley, right? Yeah. Also, there is another thing that I want to show you, but uh, we'll take a look at it when we get to the rear profile. Straightforward. Let's move there and see what we have as well. Now, the rear profile of the Mazda Primacy is as uh, simple as you can see, very simplistic and functional. Now, I want us to talk about uh, the brake lights. In the previous generation, the brake lights in the Mazda Primacy were uh, longitudinally mounted. Zilikwaga Apa EV. But now in this new generation, they have reduced the size of the brake lights and uh, they have placed them uh, up a maleziko. And that is uh, something that we have to give a thumbs up for. It has really changed the design language of the rear profile of the Mazda Primacy. Now, also let's talk about the badging. You have uh, the Primacy emblem and of course the Mazda logo. So that will tell you the person ahead of you is driving a Mazda. Primacy. Also, we have a reverse camera right here, and that makes your work easier when you want to park your vehicle. Now, there is uh, this small guy right here. You may be wondering, what does this guy do? This guy helps you to clean uh, the rear window. So, imagine at okay, apa, inamwagika kwa kio, and then the wiper does the other work so that it makes your work easy because you use ile miraikopale kumonita nyuma and the most of the times this has to be clean for visibility purposes right let's take a look at the practicality of the mazda primacy now that we are here at the rear profile now you look at it this way uh it's a seven seater multi-purpose vehicle now if you retract these seats and uh you put them this way your boot space is very limited and that also limits the practicality of the mazda primacy but if you fold these rear seats eh, and uh, you fold them kabisa, then the boot space becomes big enough for you to carry your luggage. And uh, now that makes it more practical. Sawa sawa. Also, the legroom for the rear seats, mostly utabeba watoi apa if it's a long drive. An adult here for a long drive is going to be very very cumbersome now with that said guys i want us to go on a short commercial break and then we come back with the exclusive review of the interior profile of this mazda primacy don't go away because the best is yet to come
Welcome back to the car diary. You are still rolling with the big boy, the conversation professor himself. Alfonso Albaquerque is my name. And uh, before we proceed, make sure you follow us across all our socials at Unib underscore TV on Instagram and at Unib Media TV on Facebook. Do follow the conversation professor at Alfonso Albaquerque on Facebook and at an underscore Albaquerque on Instagram. Now let's start with the instrument being called. This is a typical Nissan La Festa. The, uh, out, uh, the dashboard orientation resembles that of a La Festa Cabisa. Now, you take a look at uh, the instrument binacle. This car comes with a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. On the other hand, uh, the tachometer reads 8,000 revolutions per minute at the maximum. Now, uh, this center screen that we have right here also displays some information. It tells you uh, your fuel level and uh, the gears that uh, you engage now also on the steering wheel you have some mods right here you have the srs airbag these ones are called the cruise control not uh, don't confuse them with the uh, adaptive cruise control right all right now let's shift focus to the center console you take a look at the center console you have uh, this screen right here this small screen and uh, when we were coming on set i noticed that uh, it is uh, labeled in kilometer per liter. So this one tells you the speed you are cruising, Gariako Itakunywa, this extent, it will take you this extent of kilometers per liter based on the speed you are driving. Na pia hapo naona inakuonyesha sa na configuration ya temperature in your car. Hapa chini you have your 7 inch uh, infotainment system from uh, this car. Apparently, the infotainment system in this car is from Mitsubishi. Sounds good, right? Okay, ukisonga hapa chini, the climate control, uh, it is very simple and very functional. Also, on the uh, gear shifter, you can drive it in manual mode, I can see that. Same with the Nissan La Festa. Like, the whole orientation of the cockpit of the Mazda Primacy resembles that of a Nissan La Festa. Now, let's talk about uh, legroom right here. The legroom is very sufficient. This car is practical when it comes to matters space. And that is why you have sufficient legroom either for a tall or a short driver. And uh, also the headroom is very ample. Uh, you have armrests and comfort is also guaranteed as well. The seats are bucket inspired and uh, this car is upholstered in uh, cloth. Eh? Yeah, so VTC leather, they are upholstered in uh, some cloth. Now, the quality is also very nice. You also get to have an armrest. And uh, when we talk about storage compartments now, yeah, uh, La Festa ilikuwa imejificha hapa. And the same thing also happens with the Mazda Primacy. So you just pull this up and boom, you have your storage compartment. So that is really nice. Now, uh, let's move to the rear-end seats and see what we have there as well. Yeah, on this rear-end, things are very good. You can see, look at how I'm seated. Like a boss, my guys, this car is very spacious and very practical. So, it will be an ideal family car. Look at the legroom space that we have here. And even the headroom, it's pretty nice. Yeah, And uh, when we talk about comfort on this rear-end, if you are howling three passengers uh it will be a nice drive now if you're not howling three passengers i don't know if we have uh an armrest if we can configure this to become an armrest let's uh take a look at that there you go so you can configure this to become an armrest if you are howling just two passengers on board from uh this other end now on the other end you have uh, an armrest same to this end and that is really nice comfort is guaranteed now guys up to that point i would love us to go on the road we let the rubber meet the road as you enjoy the real experience behind the wheels and uh, let's get up close with the driving experience of the mazda primacy
So guys, let's talk also about the safety features of uh, the Mazda Primacy. I saw, I've seen idling stop right here. You also have uh, traction control. The airbags are set everywhere. So that means as you drive this car, you are safe. The orientation of the dashboard is also really nice. We are driving it evening kidogo, kuna giza giza. And uh, the ambience in the car is uh, pretty nice. It gives you some good ambience as you drive the car. Now, uh, in comparison to the Nissan La Festa, I can give a Mazda Primacy an 8 out of 10. Driving experience is really nice. It handles properly on the road. And uh, even fuel consumption, it's pocket friendly uh, when it comes to fuel consumption. So those are some of the things that we have to give a thumbs up for when we are talking about uh, the Mazda Primacy. Whew. I can't believe what the Mazda Primacy has to offer in terms of driving experience. Well, Meskiaje. Adios, muchachos, guys. We come to the end of today's episode of The Car Diary. This show was proudly sponsored by Outer Ring Classic Motors. If you want to book test drives with the car we had today or you want to uh, purchase a different car, you want direct importation, you want to do trade-ins, Outer Ring Classic Motors is the place to be. Over and out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.